Hi there, I'm Danny Henderson. Welcome back to my beautiful Disclosure of Everything channel. As we are seeing more and more UFO craft in the sky, and lots of you now understand that a lot of the UFOs or the UAPs that the military are trying to force you to change your vocabulary so you can get into their uh, brainwashing program uh, of nonsense, um, that you're now realizing that the UAPs in particular are um, military craft. The military is across your planet. Uh, most of the countries on your planet actually have a space program. They have a space fleet. They just lie about it, hide about it. Uh, but we're obviously, we're sharing truth to you. Uh, most of you with good common sense have done enough listening now to figure that out for yourselves. You've got evidence right in front of you all day, every day. And of course, there are a massive hosts and sways and beyond countless numbers of actual UFOs from different solar system areas and the areas of the universe. Of course, we ignore NASA. Nobody listens to NASA because they failed in doing their job, which was to report the truth of your solar system, and they bloody well didn't. So bye-bye there. Moving along, I wanted to tell you a story of an actual craft I witnessed in a very sacred place in Hawaii, on the island of Kauai, where I actually physically lived, and I have visited over... I don't know, 10 times on different occasions, not including the time I actually lived there. Um, there is, as with every island, so much sacred history, so much ancestral history to this very day. And of course, we all know we respect those lands, we honour the tribes, and some of us remember that, and we know that we are, we are returning ancestors, no matter what colour our skin is today. We know that. So there is a beach on uh, a very far end of the uh, oh, of Kauai, and this beach is called Pola Hale, P O L E, new word H A L E, Pola Hale or Pole Hale. Um, it doesn't matter specifically at this moment to get the pronunciation right, but it is good to look up how they actually say the words in you know the Hawaiian beautiful culture and language. Polahale. Now, this beach, um, it's huge. And uh, when you drive toward it, you have to get off the main road and go uh, left down a really massively long holy road. And when they say on the map, it's got tons of holes in it, it does. It's never going to get fixed. It rains a lot. There are massive holes. I did it in a Mini Cooper once. I don't recommend that. You need a truck or a Jeep. It is at least four miles slowly bumping over the holes and the troughs in the road to get all the way down as far as you can possibly go to the very end of this beach. I've been there several times and each time something magical has happened. And this particular time, January, 2023, I'm alone and I drive out there. I'm pulled, I'm called, I'm feeling that I need to get there today, which often happens with a lot of you too. You get a pull, like if I'm gonna to go to Silbury Hill, I'll wake up in England and go, oh, I need to get to Silbury. I need to be around that frequency and off I'll go in my car by myself. And this day was like that. And so I felt the pull to go to Polahale and I go to the very end down that four mile drive, park the car, and there's no one else on the beach, which is perfect. I'm very happy about that. And then I start walking towards the rocks. There's a sheer cliff um, and there's massive cliffs all around. At the very top, you can see, um, well, there's knowledge of a um, a, a, Hawaii, a, a heiau, which is a Hawaiian temple. A heiau is where the ancient Hawaiians bury the bones of their ancestors um, in a sacred land, sacred ground. But also on the very top of the ridge on Polahale is the uh, American military, probably other militarial factions from different countries there too, but mostly there's an American dominance. And you can see their big round ball like golf balls. You see them on the ancient, on the yachts and ships out in the ocean. But these are the telemetry, the ground receivers, satellite receivers, responders, uh, internet, Wi-Fi, whatever you want to call it. There's a whole um, colossal amount of information inside one of these balls. They have different names that we're told they do different things, but they are multi, multi-purpose. OK, now at the end of that beach, it's very odd. It's like you are in another dimension. It is so unbelievable. It is said from thousands of years ago in the ancestral knowledge of the Hawaiians that that particular beach is where the souls on our earth leave. The souls on our earth go through Holahale Beach when they leave the planet. At the far end of Kauai is another beach called Anahola, 
And it is said that the souls coming onto the planet come into the beach of Anahola. What's horrific to me is that when you're on that beach, you can look up uh, onto the cliff tops. And that bloke Zuckerberg owns a gigantic, massive, huge piece of land. And his house goes many stories down. It takes 20 minutes to drive past the front wall. 20 minutes in your car, driving past Zuckerberg's wall at the front of his house, at the front of that property he was somehow allowed to buy because these buggers aren't clipped. They're not put in their place. They just buy whatever they want on the planet. They buy the Stargate openings, the portals. They try and take all the sacredness away. They try and shit on everything. We know that. Just I'm more honest than, than you guys, some of you. You're just too scared to tell the truth. And you should be telling the truth. And you've got proof. Oh, did you sign an NDA, did you? Did you sign an NDA? And what's your point? They haven't kept their side of the bargain up, have they? Come on, boys. Come on, military personnel. Come on, generals. Knock it off. Come on. Have a go. Be a bloke. Jesus. What's it going to take? Some gobby bird like me that triggers you enough to action. Dear goodness, if that's it, then <laughs> let's go home. Oh, my goodness. So anyway, so Zuckerberg put an F in front of that. Um, he has all of that land. To, to me, is just completely wrong and criminal. And I don't care how insulting it is, reptilian boy. So go back now down to Polahale. Um, so I'm walking on the beach at Polahale, and I'm just overcome with the ancientness of it and I'm by myself and I'm breathing in breathing in and I'm partly eyes closed partly eyes open and then I open my eyes and right out just right out a few feet over the ocean is this gigantic ship UFO but it's silent and it's hovering it's right there it's like 20 feet out and I would say probably 30 40 feet up and it was so incredible. And the if you look at the photo on this video, this is the nearest I could get to it. All the triangular diamond shapes that were all over this ship. And the ship was shaped like a sideways diamond. And it was like white with like a pinky pearlescent mauve, very light purple, like hues all over it. And it was very shiny. And it was just there and it was so remarkable. At the same moment I saw this craft, I looked, how rude, I, I just got interrupted. Um, at the moment that I saw the craft and the ocean, it was out over the ocean, not too far from me, I look to my right and there's shrubs and you know uh, um, you know bushes and you know rough shrubbery there and then I saw a gigantic mirror a gigantic mirror and the mirror was reflecting right to the spacecraft and in that moment a couple of things happened in my mind I'm like my god is that military who would put a mirror there it's reflecting it's creating a cloaking mechanism because at first I couldn't see the craft and then I could see it clearly and it was so cloaked because it was so bright and that all the way the shapes work was reflecting or refracting the light and it was over the ocean the bright blue ocean the bright light blue, blue sky above and it was completely invisible but I saw it and then it just simply disappeared altogether. So I know that the military are around with everything on the planet and they've got so much advanced technology. We would be still, even I, knowing what I do know, would probably still be shocked at everything they have uh, because the technology that they use um, against us, a lot of us, uh, they have no right to do it. But those people, the people that, you know, the scumbags are, uh, predators that have been running our world they 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 don't care about you so much so that I'm going to talk to you a little bit about HAARP H-A-A-R-P High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program HAARP H-A-A-R-P there are several of these research programs not just one there isn't just one 24 kind of acre you know square with all these arrays that are spinning and creating RFs, radio frequency, 
um, MW microwaves, you know, sending signal RFs or up to the um, ionosphere, which is the gaseous layer um, between the space and between Earth. But what they what these harp frequency weapons do, and the military don't hide it, the government don't hide it. You can go look them up now. Oh, now harps with the uh, as what was it the Alaska Fairbanks University? Okay, whatever, Trevor. Wrap it up anywhere you like. It's still a weapon. It's still weaponizing the weather. You know, we're not that stupid, unfortunately for you. So the uh, the arrays are spinning. They're creating atmospherics up to the ionosphere. But once it hits the ionosphere, the curvature, because the Earth's not flat, ding dong. <laughs> I know I'm annoying. I know I am. It's all right, though. I love you, really. Love humanity. Anyway. Um, when it goes up, it expands. So people say, it's not possible to change the weather, Danny. Yes, it bloody is. They've been doing it for years. What about cloud seeding? Cloud seeding. How do you think in Dubai they've been able to manage a desert area and turn it into an extraordinary city with greens and trees, etc.? They make clouds. There are cloud seeding machines. You can blow them up there on the planet, like on the ground. You can watch one. There's tons of videos now. Or you can look at the um, the evil people flying planes around with the canisters, spraying barium, aluminium, and titanium, among other horrific particles. And because the 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 um the predators that hate you so much. You are bugs to them. I mean, Klaus Schwab made it clear. He wants you to eat bugs. This is the little they think of you. They are crop spraying us, humanity, like we are bugs, that we need We need the pesticides on us. We need to be wiped off. And what's happening in your atmosphere too? Your planetary atmosphere, yours, yours, this is your home, remember, planet Earth. What's happening is when those R swipes are dropping barium, aluminium, titanium, selenic, I mean, all these other different toxic, it's going in our respiratory systems, but it's also heating the atmosphere, heating up the atmosphere. Oh, that'd be global warming. That'd be global warming, everyone. Oh, that'd be climate change. No, it's the bollock chops enforcing climate change to look like that. Now, of course, of course, Mother Earth, She's a cyclical, she, there are cycles that she goes in. We, you know, there have been events over the many years that happen, obviously. Someone's messing with my Zoom here. Oi, boy, not today. Not today, Satan. Anyway, so, of course, everything has been manipulated. Of course it has. You're at a point now where you know that, right? You're thinking with your thinking brain. You've realised you've been hypnotised, like the rest of us, like me too. It takes some waking up, but then we get there. We get there. Let me see what else I've made notes on here so I don't forget anything. Um, uh, the antenna arrays, which is the um, high-frequency active auroral research program, HARP. There's like tons of them, not just one. And they all create massively expand. Once it hits the ionosphere, it spreads out. It can create thunderstorms, fires. They use their DW weapons too, the direct energy weapons. Guys, it is time. Let's own it. It's happening. Um, study the ionosphere. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so the, the, and the... Um, the, the gate arrays, the wave arrays, they also create, um, when the microwaves or the RS radio frequencies are sending up, um, uh, transmitting frequency up to the ionosphere, um, it is also allowing for uh, VLS, which is very low frequency, um, ELS, which is uh, extremely low frequency, which can go right up to the ionosphere and right down to the very depths of the ocean uh, for all kinds of experimentation. Um, I'm going to read you uh, when the when the RFs hit the ionosphere, they disperse, creating plasma. It's the plasma that can be heated. But when you also think about all the barium, titanium, and the other uh, chemicals to, to genocide us, they're all there at the same time. They're creating a holy uh, force inside the matrix that's already force that we live in. A holy force force environment. There's even people's tomatoes, you know, burning. You know, because they and they're blocking the sun with all of that. They're actually blocking the sun. So that Bill Gates, that knobhead, you know, putting out, of course, he's just a puppet. He's not the actual one that came up with it. He's not that bright. I think we know that by now, too. Not sorry. Bill and Gates, Bill and Gates, the philanthropist, really? Is he really, though? Have you checked? Have you checked? Um, 
let me see, I want to read you a patent number again to prove to you, because if I wasn't telling the truth, why on earth would this technology be patented? You can actually look it up. The bloke's name is Eastland, Eastland. The patent number is 46866065. Eastland, American patent number 46866065. And the title is Method and Apparatus for Altering a Region in the Earth's Atmosphere, Ionosphere, and Magnetosphere. And this was patented in August the 11th, 1987. So a few things to think about there. HARP, the weaponized, um, demonizing, genociding, climate changing, military operated, government known, funded uh, system to change the weather. They can create famine, fire, they're destroying the crops in England, they're sending rain that we can't even maintain the crops anymore. You have been had, I have been had, this BS is going on. Polahale Beach, I saw a craft. I've seen many craft, I've seen many different types of ET. My experiences are physical. We all come in with different messages. I learn through my physical interactions and then I share them with you. And then you, my love, you get to decide whether you think it's bollocks or not. I don't care either way. I'm in too much of a hurry to bring too much information because we've been lied to, we've been had, and it is time we have all the information because we deserve it. This is my planet. This is your planet. This is our planet. And a bunch of Muppets don't get to take it from us. Oh, they've tried and they're still trying and they're failing and all the systems are crumbling down. They're trying to create civil war, racist wars, all of that. Don't lose the focus on the dog turds that are running things because they are getting the boiling water and being swept away. Oh yes, they are. Happy times, happy times, my beloved humanity. I'm here in service to you. I bring my love to you. I bring my respect to you. And I know that as a humanity, we rise shoulder to shoulder, not inciting violence. And this someone does need a kicking, you know, off to the side, but let's be sensible, peacefully, strong with strength, but you don't take any shit. And even though there are some terrible, terrible people in governments, in police, in education, in all of those areas, there are also extremely good people and loving people. So be mindful and be kind to them. My name is Danny Henderson. I send you love from my heart to yours, and I'll see you soon. You bet your ass. I'm going to see you soon. <laughs>